it's been slow a little bit. Um, my sister let me take her old barrel horse, and that's kind of been a learning process. I'm just taking this semester as like um, getting back into the groove of things. Like I didn't practice goats all that much because I was like nervous. Like the first time I got off, like it was so scary, and I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then um, we were at practice on Wednesday or something, and I'm like, I'm unsitching my horse after we're practicing, and I'm like. Holy cow, like I started crying. I was like, who knew that this was gonna happen again? And it was just like, it's crazy. Like, honestly, I'm so blessed. She's just amazing. I can't believe that she's doing all the things that she's doing after, I mean, when I first seen her, what, six and a half months ago, I thought I was just getting a body out for her parents had somebody to bury. And they see this amazing girl that just jumped off a horse and tied a goat up six and a half months later is just inspiring. I can't say enough how amazing and pretty and just wonderful she is. And I'm glad that I got a part in helping her. It was like crazy that I was still there and he was still brave enough to be in there and get me out. So I'm so thankful. I'd seen her head hanging behind the seat because of her injuries. Her head was kind of just hold down by the skin. And so then I noticed she was there. I didn't think she was alive. Um, so, but her seatbelt was on and I was trying to get her seatbelt off and the fire was starting to come closer and the radiator exploded. And when the radiator exploded, I heard her take a gasp of air. At that point, I realized she was alive. Um, and then when I tried to pull her out, her spurs were caught under the pedals and I was trying to get her out as hard as I could, but I didn't want to move her neck at all because I knew she had such traumatic injuries to her neck. Um, and then the fire came into the cab to where it was on the front seat. So I used my knee and kind of pried off the back of the truck and had to shear her ankle to get her out. I had panic attacks and was really bad for the next couple of days. I was trying to call all the hospitals and nobody could tell me anything because I'm not family or anything. And, I couldn't find her name and then I finally found a post that her mom had put and uh, got in contact and then I went up to see her at the hospital but she was kind of not really there but there so um, this is actually the first time I got to meet her and it's just amazing to see how strong and how motivated and she's just very inspiring. It's awesome I got a chance to help this beautiful girl. I suffered a pretty big oil field incident not long before this like six months and suffered PTSD so I don't like going around fires so like I mean it was me stopping her going was so close and then me jumping into that was definitely something I didn't want to do but and then I mean even the fact that Evan decided not to stop for dinner to just get on the road I mean there's just so many different, so many things that if one thing would have went different, she wouldn't have been here with us today. I mean, definitely a miracle.